Yeah, so that's probably a, a good segue to kind of talk a little bit more about tax compliance, because that is probably the biggest thing that people worry about, especially, you know, the difference between sales tax that we have, the VAT tax that you have, it's a different way of uh, adding it into the product price. So tell us a, a little bit about that, uh, how, what things we need to watch out for and you know the best way to go about it how you guys help with that etc definitely so the biggest biggest thing to watch out for is exactly what you said that sales tax is added at checkout whereas vat which is if the equivalent of sales tax we just call it vat we include that in our listing price so whenever you're looking at competitors and you want to ballpark where your products will be based um make sure that you remember that VAT is included in the listing price. Um, so that 20%, that 19% is already into that fee that you can see is already built in that. You're not going to add it on top. But the beauty about the US sellers is that Amazon will actually deduct this VAT from your sale. They'll pay it to the tax office and then you'll receive the, the rest of it. So everything you get is revenue, whereas Amazon have already dealt with the VAT for you. So I would say that's the biggest thing to look out for. And I'm curious how, what number are they calculating the VAT off of? Because if I'm selling my product for say 10 pounds and that includes the VAT tax, uh, are they calculating the VAT tax as a percentage of the 10 pounds, which already includes the VAT? So you're like, paying twice, I guess, or what number are they basing that off of? Yeah, they're basing it off your final listing price. So if you've sold it for 20 euros, they assume that that already includes VAT and they'll de deduct the 20% away and then give you the rest, which is why it's so important that you've already added that 20% so that when they deduct it, it's not being deducted from your money, but rather the client's money. And is 20% the typical amount that most of the countries there are at? Yeah, that would be the average. Um, it goes all the way down to 19 and it goes up to 23. It depends on the country, but as an average, we're seeing about 20%. So whatever you're going to sell it at, if you just take 20% off the top as an expense, yeah, you want to be calculating your profit or your ROI off of that number. Yeah, definitely. But the biggest thing here is just that the client pays for that 20% VAT. The last thing you want is this to be cutting into your margins. So by adding it onto your listing price, the client pays for the full price, including the VAT. Amazon takes the VAT away and then you receive the rest. Yeah, it's an important differentiation. You wouldn't want to sell your product for $10 or 10 pounds and then that 20% come out and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't have any margin left. Yeah, that was mine. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Definitely. And now the other thing that I've heard of in the past is that when you're selling in Europe, if, you're sell if you make sales in the UK and Germany and Austria and wherever else, Turkey or whichever countries that you then have to file taxes in each one of those individual countries is that still the case so the case is you have to where you're storing the inventory so that if you could take something away from this podcast it would be that you just need to be registered in the country where you store your inventory and where you are registered is where you have to file so don't be fooled when they say you have to file everywhere you sell to before when I was saying about selling to 27 countries. Don't think that I'm trying to get you to file in 27 countries. That's not the case. You only need to be registered where you store and where you store and are registered is where you need to file. So that could be one country or it could be four. It's down to you. And is Germany the best place to store your stock in addition to the UK? It is the, it is what I was saying, it's, it's on par with the UK in terms of sizing. So it's not a bad start. I would definitely recommend the UK and Germany as your starting points. Um, but a tip, France actually has really good imports. So when you import into France, 
you don't have to pay what's called import VAT. Um, and I'll go into depth into this. Import VAT is completely separate to what we were just talking about. It's a VAT that you just pay when you import, as the name says, but you do get it back. Um, so you get it back no matter where you're importing. So if anyone's listening and they've paid for import VAT, just make sure that you know that you can claim it back and your tax advisor should be claiming this back for you. So if you want to avoid having to pay import VAT, I would recommend you ship into France. Either way, you're going to get your import VAT back, but why pay for it when you can maybe not pay for it? So the UK and France are the only two countries in the whole of Europe that offer this scheme that you import and you don't pay for import VAT. It doesn't cost you anything extra. You don't need anything additional. You just have to import by the UK and France. So if you're worried about maybe the cash flow rather than Germany, I would maybe suggest France. Something good came out of Brexit and we don't have import VAT.